On the 13th of August, I attempted to beat the main game of Cuphead using a randomizer, and you guys seem to like it, so why not do the DLC? Although this time, we're going to be doing things a bit different, so let's get into the rules. Rule number one is going to be pretty obvious. Our entire loadout must be randomized. Now, nobody's made a randomizer for Cuphead, so I'm going to have to use the poor man's randomizer, also known as random number generator. So what I did was Google the word random number generator, click the first thing that came up, and then I would do a random number from 1 to 9 to get my shot, and I was only allowed one shot for this challenge, unlike last time where I was allowed two. And then I would do 1 to 3 for our super, and finally 1 to 9 again for our charm. Rule number two, all bosses must be completed on expert difficulty, because why not? The third and final rule to make this challenge completely insane, as chosen by my chat, we must beat all bosses without taking a single hit of damage. Any hit, even if we're above 3 HP, we must restart the battle. Now that we're done with the rules, I have a trade offer. You receive some premium content, and in return, I receive a subscription. Only 5% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, and it makes me really sad, so please, subscribe. Other than that, we also have a Discord server. I'm in there as much as I can, so it's a great chance to talk with me, and also talk with fans of the channel, so just join the Discord server. Alright, so if you liked the video so far, consider subscribing, and if not, consider liking the video, and if not, I hope you enjoy it. With all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. 1 to 9, so then people can't say I cheat. We got number 3 for our shot, which is the f chaser. <laughs> Alright, 1 to 3 for the super art. Super art 2, okay, perfect. And then this is 1 to 9 as well. 1 to 9. Number 9, the heart ring. Moonshine Mob was our first boss of the challenge, and for this boss, we had the Chaser, Super Art 2, and the Heart Ring. This boss was generally pretty easy, and it's all just because I can't take damage that makes this thing difficult. After I beat it with above 3 HP and then got yelled at by chat, the results screen doesn't lie. <laughs> but think about it. This is just the one challenge. I might not get the other one. Look, I might not get the, but then there's no point in having the heart ring. We, we do, do not, not get it. <laughs> bro, you're so mean, bro. They, 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 they made me do it again. Anyways, for the first phase, the chaser is not the worst shot in the world. It does very, very little damage, but it makes it easier to avoid the minions. So overall, it's not really that bad. I can dodge the bombs that he spawns really easily, and then whenever he kicks out the worm, I don't have to worry about him because I have the chaser, which locks onto the worm automatically, so I don't have to worry about him. Then we're done with the first phase. The second phase is way worse because it's really easy to take damage especially stupid damage. Also, again, the chaser does such little damage that it takes a while for me to actually kill the minions. So when I'm running around, sometimes I'll just run directly into the minions when I'm trying to kill them. But with a bit of focusing, it didn't take that long. Now we're on to the third phase. Now, if I'm being completely honest, the third phase is probably the easiest phase of this entire boss fight. Pretty much all you have to worry about are the bug balls that he sends out, and with the chaser, they automatically lock onto them, so I literally never have to worry about them. And other than that, it's just a lot of dodging and waiting for him to die, and we're done with this phase. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Jesto is here. Is he actually my guy? You lied. You lied to me, fam. Are you lonely? And there we go. The first boss of the challenge is down. Now is probably the best time to mention, if you want to see the full unedited streams, you can go to my VODs channel, Chicken Ninja 42 VODs. They're all uploaded there for you to watch. So yeah, if you want to see the proofs, go check out that channel. 
Alright, now we are on to the second boss, which is gonna be Esther. The molester! Hey yo, what the fuck? For Esther, my loadout's gonna be pretty simple because I don't have a super art. So if you're wondering how I got my plane level weapon, I just went one to two, one for the pea shooter and the other one for the bombs. Other than that, we got the coffee charm and that's our entire loadout for this fight. Luckily for me, I've been practicing this boss fight quite a lot for an upcoming challenge, so it wasn't too bad taking no damage, but it's still pretty difficult. For the first phase, it looks like there's always a lot of stuff on screen, but it's honestly not that bad. So the first phase is pretty easy. The second phase is pretty difficult, especially when she starts using her vacuum attack. Oh, I got the tiny suck. That doesn't make sense out of context. It sounds like I'm a furry out of context, actually. During the vacuum attack, she begins pulling objects from off screen. This is a problem because I don't have time to react to them before they actually get on screen, which means I take a lot of dumb hits. The third phase is definitely not as difficult as the second phase, but it's still pretty hard, mainly just because I have to focus on which way the cans are opening, because depending on where they open, she sends out a wiener conga line that's really easy to get hit by, so I have to pay attention to that and just not getting hit by stakes, which makes this phase pretty hard, but not too bad. And now we're on to the final phase. The final phase takes an idea of a wiener conga line and puts it on steroids. But much like the first phase, this phase isn't really that bad. All I have to do is just focus on making it through the sausage links, and other than that, I can get parries as much as I can, and use my super as much as I can, and with the help of the coffee charm, we get a lot of EXs, which makes it really easy, and we're done. That's a dub, that's a dub! Yeah, let's go, baby! You're just making this way. <laughs> Let's go, baby! What boss do you hit the most? This one! I hate- No! Oh, no way! <laughs> one to nine. We're going to fight furries again. One to nine. Give me seven. No way. <laughs> Nobody's gonna believe that, but I don't care, baby! Number one to three. Three. One to nine for the charm. Six. One, two. Okay, well. That's right, the next boss up is going to be Howling Aces. Ah, no! Oh, oh my god! Are you kidding me? Bro! <laughs> the only thing that does suck about this boss fight is the amount of people that talk about the female dog. Stop it. Oh, it's it's a it's a hot female dog. Hey yo, what the fuck? Anyways, the loadout that we're gonna have for this boss fight is gonna be the crack shot, which is one of the best weapons, if not the best weapon in the game. The whetstone, which is basically useless and Super R3, which is basically useless. The first phase of this boss fight is extremely easy with the crack shot. I don't have to worry about anything but his main attacks because all the fire hydrants that get spawned are instantly killed by the crack shot. The second phase is just kind of annoying. I could pretty much kill the first one instantly, and then other than that, I just have to worry about the other three. Since I have the crack shot, I don't have to worry about aiming in this phase, so it's literally just me jumping around and hoping I don't get hit. And now we're on to the final phase, which is absolute garbage, and I hate it. If your head doesn't spin constantly trying to dodge things in this phase, then I don't know what's wrong with you. During the laser phase, instead of actually trying to dodge, I would just jump and use my EX, and then it would go and find something to hit. Other than just attempting this tons of times, I don't really have anything else to say, and we did it. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Woo! Oh, and the strike, bro! <laughs> Just gave me the cheese, bro! Random number generator, one to nine. <laughs> one to nine. 
one to nine. If I get the seven. One, two, three, five, six. One to three. Two. Okay. One to nine. Five. Twin hearts. The next boss is gonna be Mortimer Freeze. This boss marks my 45 minute war against popsicles. You f popsicle! I hate green popsicles, dude. All right, my loadout for this boss fight is gonna be the crack shot somehow again. My charm is gonna be the twin hearts and my super is gonna be super art two. At first I was thinking to myself, hey, that's, that's, that's a pretty good loadout. And then I remembered that I couldn't take damage. So literally all twin hearts does is decrease my damage by 10% and that's absolutely it. The first phase isn't that bad. The only thing that's kind of difficult to dodge is when he spawns his minions, but other than that, it's pretty easy. And that's gonna completely change once he enters his second phase. And the only reason why the second phase is so horrible is because of popsicles. They move way too fast for the crack shot to actually track them, so most of the time they don't even get killed until they either run into me or they go off screen. So I lost a lot of runs to these damn popsicles. But other than that, the second phase is pretty easy. Now we go on to the third phase. The third phase has like one attack that's kind of easy to dodge and then everything else just sucks. I have like absolutely no practice with the third phase and I don't have Miss Chalice's double jump, so it just sucks. So moral of the story is this phase sucks. I tried my best to hit him with EX moves because I knew they did a lot of damage. But other than that, it's just me trying to focus on dodging because that's the most important thing in this boss fight. And we got it done. Come on, baby. You see that dodge? That was clutch as See, that's what happens when I don't talk. It's not as fun, but I get it done. All right, one to nine number generator. We've got two. <laughs> okay, one to three. We've got one. Okay, I'll take that. That's actually useful. One to nine. Don't give me anything to do with health. Two. <gasps> okay, that's actually kind of good. That's kind of good. That's kind of good. Now, at first, you might be thinking, hey, he didn't get that bad of a loadout. This is going to be pretty easy. Let me introduce you to the five stages of grief. Stage number one, denial. Where the fuck did he come from? No. That's baloney, bro. Stage number two, anger. There's no way that thing hit me. That was beside me. Like, that's such bullshit. Stage number three, bargaining. Can you calm down, please? Stage number four, depression. No! Why, man? Stage number five, acceptance. I'm giving up. There should be another stream on Monday. I'll keep doing this, but yeah, this is stupid. Um, needless to say, this boss has swiftly become one of my least favorite bosses in the entire game. One of the biggest reasons is because of the spread shot. Now, normally the spread shot is not a bad shot for this fight. But when you remember I can't take damage, and that the spread shot only works when I'm within tickling distance of the person I'm shooting, it becomes literally one of the worst shots for this boss fight. His first phase is probably his least annoying phase, the keyword being least. This phase still sucks a lot because there's always a ton of projectiles on screen. Although there's one attack that he does where he pulls a cat from somewhere. So he's reaching in his ass for a cat! No ass cat! This attack is really easy to dodge. All I have to do is just stand on the edge of my platform and angle my spread shot to deal tons of damage. After that, we move on to the second phase, which is genuinely one of the worst phases in the entire DLC. I hate this phase with every fiber of my being, and that's for one reason and one reason only. Gnomes. 
The gnomes come from seemingly nowhere, and there's so many of them, and I have nothing to do about it. Plus, the hand puppets throw a ball back and forth, so basically, your only hope for not taking damage here is to pray to RNGesus that you don't get hit, and that's pretty much it. And now we're into the final phase. Believe it or not, the final phase is no different. It still sucks. In this phase, it's so easy to be shot in the face by one of the gnomes, and it's even easier to get shot in the face by a piece of meat. That, that, that's out of bargain, man. <laughs> so yeah, taking no damage on this phase with just the spread shot is pretty hard. And other than just using my super whenever I had it, and just hoping I didn't get hit, there's nothing much to this final phase, and we beat him. I am so done with this boss. I'm genuinely not even happy. I'm so done. I'm literally so done. I'm not even happy, dude. I'm not even happy. I'm just so done. I want to be done. There's no chat reaction for this boss fight because it took me so long that I ended up doing it off stream. Yeah. Alright, there's no backing out of this now. We've got one boss left in the DLC. And of course, it's Chef Salt Baker. Three. Chaser. I'll, I'll take it. Chaser? We also had Chaser for something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need variation, but I don't I don't care. <laughs> I'm not doing it. One to three, we got number one. I'll actually take that. One to nine for the charm. If I get Miss Chalice, I'll be extremely happy. I don't even know what Miss Chalice is. Seven. What is seven? <gasps> Okay, look, I know. I lied about the lobber, and I somehow got Miss Chalice. I don't know what to tell you. Just... I... I, I don't know. Look, Miss Chalice or no Miss Chalice, this boss still sucks an extremely large amount. Favorite DLC boss? None of them. I hate the DLC. <laughs> The first phase of this boss fight is essentially just a bullet hell. There are so many things on screen that can and will hit me. There's the flames above me, there's the limes that he spawns, there's the cookies that he makes, the strawberries, and the sugar cubes. And that's all in one phase. So yeah, after we shoot him enough, he takes some shrooms and we're on to the second phase. The second phase is pretty much the exact same as the first phase. It's a bullet hell. There's the flames that jump up and down, and there's the things that the peppers shoot at me, and of course, there's also leaves that fall from the ceiling, cause why not? To kill this phase, we essentially just have to shoot them enough till they resort to friendly fire. That's my question. Holy sh! I had him with the wombo combo. Other than just constantly shooting and hoping I didn't get hit, there's nothing else I really did. I tried to use my dodge roll as much as possible because it meant I couldn't get hit, and it kept me lower to the ground. But other than that, this phase is pretty hard, but we finished it. Now we're on to the third phase. The third phase is really easy as long as he doesn't spawn right on top of me. If he doesn't, then we're perfectly fine. All I have to do is just dodge and that's pretty much it. And now we're on to the final phase. But since I was blessed by the almighty gods of RNG, this phase is the second easiest phase in this entire boss fight. All I'm gonna do is just jump from platform to platform, and since my chaser bullets automatically lock onto him, I don't have any problems, and we beat him. Let's go chat! Let's go chat! Let's go baby! Come on! Let's go baby sub hour. That's a, that's our, that's a record. That's a record baby! I thought that was gonna be a strike, but I didn't get any pays. But I'll take it. And that's the story of how I beat Cuphead's DLC with a randomizer. As always, big shout out to my YouTube members, The Walking W's. We've got Barely Alec, Minionek247, Sammy Flynn, The Gaming Fanatics, Internet Lucina Main, Cold Water, Cuphead and MLT PRNG Kim. If you have any other challenges you want me to try, comment them down below, and if I think it's good, I'll try it out.
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.